All right, so here's the air race hand pump. And I wanted to show, show this to you guys because the bang for your buck on this thing is excellent. And it's a, um, it's 100 PSI max pressure, seven bar, $20 hand pump. And it already proven it's worth it got me out of a situation, not two weeks of having it. I got a blowout on one of my tires. Must have ran over some sharp glass or something and just total blowout within seconds. My tire was flat and it wasn't damaged enough that I couldn't get home with it. So I was able to swap out the tube, you know, on road and get home. But not only did this thing pump my tire up efficiently and you know fairly fairly fast it also pumped it up to the point where your day doesn't have to end you know it's you're not going to get the 100 psi in my opinion you know that it claims max but you're going to get probably in the high 80s i got to check that out and get back to you guys on it but probably in the high 80s close to 90 it was definitely enough where the tire wasn't squishing and it was enough for me to to keep going but because the tire had a slice in it i i called it a wrap and that was it but you know so it's an aluminum pump all aluminum body and you know really good construction it comes with the hardware for the mounting it mounts right up to the water bottle mounts and it's just great it's just great it's got the it's got the um retractable hose so that's a major plus and i recommend that to anybody guys you do not get a pump a hand pump that has the valve connection directly on the pump itself because you're going to damage you're going to end up damaging you press the valve and you you know it's just going to be a nightmare to pump up it's got the little cap here, the little cover. Uh, it stays secure. It's it's solid, rock solid on there. It's got the little strap here that you could, you know, just for extra little rubber strap for the extra support. And the thing, the thing is great. I'll post a link in the description. Anybody interested, looking for a second pump, a first pump, you know, a, a backup pump. But this basically is my setup when I'm not riding with my jersey on and I don't have the kangaroo pouch in the back where I could store a lot of stuff. So this is my basic setup. Like if I have a t-shirt on, like or a, a bike uh, style riding t-shirt. Um, you know, so basically I get out there, I got my little saddle bag and the pump mounts to the bike since I don't have, you know, nowhere to put it on body. So this is basically, you know, my basic setup and I recommend you go out there with at least this much to get you out of a jam. And, you know, I'll just have this little saddle bag mounted and, you know, with uh, tire levers, a tube, you know, maybe an Allen key. And like, you know, I'll put in there sometimes a couple of quick links for the chain just in case. That never happened to me with the, with the chain, but just in case and just basics that I think you should have. And because I used to go out there, guys, I used to go out there and I'd be out 20, 30 miles and I used to go with nothing. And I was fortunate enough that nothing happened. And, I, you know, I didn't need any, you know, backup plan. I was, I was lucky. But, you know, ride like, a, ride like a gentleman, ride like a lady and bring your stuff. But, yeah, man. Can't beat it. Air race. Later, guys.